Okay, so it's really important that you have to bear in mind that SWOT and TOAST matrix really um, go along together. No, they sila pwedeng and they have to be separate. You can't make a TOAST matrix without starting with your SWOT analysis. So once you have your SWOT analysis, you will then get the data there to make your own TOAST matrix. Now, before we will start, let us pray first. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Rita, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so good morning, everyone. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, everyone. So... Um, I have already seen some of your outputs, and there are 39 of you who have submitted your SWOT analysis. Um, at what lang dahil kay ganyan hindi lang ko check kay ga hima pa po ko og test paper po. Um, I have six test papers to make pa, no? So, but I have actually scanned through some of your work. Some of you already know how to do SWOT analysis. That is good. Hopefully, wala lang mo nagrely ni Google no, and you're actually using your own brain because again, no. Um, kung face to face pani, you can't rely on Google all the time. No, uh, you are also cheating yourself. Unsa man yung cheating yourself? Kana ganing um, wala actual knowledge ka matabo just because you don't challenge your head to actually do the thinking. You rely on what you see on the internet. No, um, it's and it's evident. No, I can really compare those who actually. Did their own SWOT analysis and those who um, just got it from the internet because the details very detailed kaayo ang ko ano um some of you even know strategic marketing which is already a ko ano siya kanang laum na siya nga nga kind of of marketing so or, or strategy you know so. Hopefully, no. When you will make your own those matrix, okay, because you are given two hours to do so, I just do hope nga you will rely on your own ideas, right? No, not just be lazy enough to get it online. Okay, I know, no. Makita mo jud na on um online no daghan mo kung they're not actually learning anything online. Kaya tungod mo na siya, they get screen fatigue. Well, of course, part of that is because you don't really allow your head to think. Kaya lahi mo sa face-to-face, you're forced to do that because you can't really bring your phone and Google everything. And if there's an activity, you actually use your head, no? When it comes to activities, Jude. So, that's why, how will you learn if you do not train your head to do the thinking? No, So, you cannot monitor man everyone. You're in your own respective homes when you do the activity. So I just do hope that when you do this, in you have gikan, okay? So it's just a reminder. Not everyone man kay nagabasa po ko sa SWOT analysis sa uban ilaha man jud nga ideas and dali ra ko siyam identify. Okay, so this morning we're going to proceed with <clears throat> those matrix. I'll just show you like a uh, threat uh mer- in theory, what is those matrix? And then I'll give you an example with Burger King. No, I can't download the PowerPoint because it's in SlideShare. But I'll just get the link so that you can view it later on. Para na amoy idea how to do it. No, kay in the exam you will do this. I will not let you make an activity. Para sa SWOT no nga, give activity ra na ko. Um, you'll actually apply it during the exam. So, pwede mo ka-practice-practice daan. No, samtang wala pag exam Para you have an idea on the toast matrix. Okay, so we'll start first with the background on what is toast. So TOS analysis or TOS matrix is a tool which is used to generate, compare, and select strategies. Strictly speaking, it is not the same as SWOT analysis. And it is certainly not a SWOT analysis which focuses on threats and opportunities. 
um, SWOT is more on identifying ra. Kana ganing, you acknowledge that there are threats, you acknowledge that there are opportunities in your own company, there are weaknesses, there are strengths, but it's really different to those analysis. Ang SWOT is just an acknowledgement no, that you're being, that you are aware of your strengths and weaknesses, of the opportunities and threats all around you, but it is not a strategy uh, generating ko, you know, matrix if you compare it to TOS. Si TOS is nag, din siya, no? from the SWOT analysis, you will come up with strategies on how to address. Like, how do I address these threats? No, How do I take advantage of opportunities? How will I use my strengths to take advantage of opportunities? Muna ang purpose ni TOS. Muraganig, si SWOT ang ma-identify Unsa to ang mga strengths and weaknesses, opportunities and threats ni mo. Then si Toast Matrix ang mo pick out from all of those ng mga ipang mention sa SWOT. Si Toast ang maoy mo pick out og unsa ang pinakada best strategy in order to address katong na- nakabutang si mong SWOT analysis. So, murag si SWOT analysis will identify the problem, but ang mo himo the strategy in order to address that problem is si Toast Matrix. So, SWOT analysis is a tool used for audit and analysis. One would use SWOT at the beginning of the planning pro- uh, uh, process. No, kung magsugod pa lang ka, like for example, for this year, this is my first year in owning a business. So, I will use SWOT analysis first to identify my internal and external business environment. Pero, how will I move forward? How will I address what I have written in the SWOT analysis? if wala ko strategy so si toast na dayon na siya ang mo um himuana no toast will be made later as you decide upon ways forward so there is a trade off between internal and external factors so mag cross sila na atay so wo na atay um for example na putay st or wt no like mga na nga example no kanagay mag cross silang upat so, strengths and weaknesses are internal factors and opportunities and threats are external. Diba? Kung kayo dumos akong gidiscuss um, last week, no? Nga, si strength, gani o si weakness is internal. Meaning, within the company, you can control it. While si opportunities and threats are external, which are the things that you cannot control, but has an effect on your company. No, person ng con good. Ang economy, competitors, di ba? Na-mention naman ako na pag last week. Okay, those are external factors that you cannot control but has a direct influence sa imuha. No? Or can even um, change no? your, your company. So, this is where our four potential strategies derive their importance. So, the four those strategies are strength, opportunity, or SO. Weaknesses, opportunity, WO. Strength and threats. And then, ay, naputol. Weaknesses and threats. STWT. So, S-O-W-O-S-T-W-T. So, unsa siya ang itsura niya? So, yung ani siya, class. Ang imo internal factors, ang taon niyo ha, mo ni siya yung internal factors. Strengths ni mo o weaknesses, ba? Wali mo external factors, imong opportunities and threats. Maghimo gani mo og TOS analysis class. Ini ka exam, pwede raman mo magkog laing papel ni ing ani ninyo para di mo maglibog. Pero sa exam class, dili siya ing ani ang style no murag ganig oh, write your ST, strengths and threats. Ni lista ra ning tanan. So maglibog man ko ing ana ang setup. Kadi mo ko ka ing ani good sa Google Forms. So what you're going to do is just on a separate piece of paper, you're going to list down what are your strengths, what are the weaknesses of the company, what are the opportunities and threats, and then you try to make strategies out of those, no? Using the toast matrix. Pwede na siya on a separate piece of paper, and then inyo harang ikoan. Si tawag ni eh. Inyo harang i-fill out tayo dito, no, sa form. Or maghatay lang sa ka-option wherein you can um, upload your toast analysis. So, kana na lang siguro, mag- ipa-upload na lang, Gorna, ko. Um, how do you upload? Pero, basta maglisod mo ba? 
Hatay lang ko daw yung options where you can answer the toast matrix in different ways. You can fill it out using Google Forms or just upload um, a picture of, you know, a piece of paper where you wrote the toast matrix. Okay, so muna siya yung internal factors na strengths and weaknesses, external factors, opportunities, and threats. Now, ang iyahang study class is, for example, under SO, strengths and opportunities. Ano siya, no? Strengths and opportunities. So, how will you uh, make use of your strengths to maximize opportunities? Think of strategies on how to do that, no? And then, dayon din na puta. Weaknesses to opportunities. So, paana, no? So, weaknesses to... You have to be familiar with this, though, because it's a BCG matrix class. Yung ani po nilang style, paana po nung mag imuhang i-graph ba asa siya nga quadrat matunong, no? Ana po na sa BCG matrix po hon. So, anad-anad lang mo on niya. So, weaknesses to opportunities. So, how will I minimize my weaknesses in the company, how will I limit this or ako siyang tangtangon ako mga weaknesses so that I can take advantage of opportunities. Because I cannot take advantage of opportunities if na ako'y underlying weaknesses sa company. Like for example, one weakness kung fast food chain is slow ang pag kon sa food, no? pag, pag hatag sa food. That's a weakness. Now, how can you take advantage of opportunities knowing that you are you will be located in within the city where daghan kag mga tao if kana pa lang weakness nimo daan hinay kaayo ka muhatag bu deliver og food sa imong mga mga customer masking ibutang pa ka dira duol sa sa sentro sa syudad nga daghan kag mga tao it's a big opportunity for you you will not take advantage of that you cannot take advantage advantage of that kay tungod maot man ang imong service di ba puna siya example or one example ya tong ko sa Burger King no ang weakness sa Burger King abi is ko an na asilay contract with the soft drinks company so dili sila pwede ka ka provide og different kind of drinks kay tungod in their contract sa soft drinks company ang katura sa soft drinks company ang mo imuhatag og beverages sa ilaha di sila pwede mo mo sell og lain pang variety of drinks so that's a weakness kay meaning malimit ang imong menu ba imbes mo extend kag daghan kay klase nga drinks para daghan kag mo offer sa imong mga customers kay you are located no opportunity man na no your location is an opportunity because you're located within the center sa city you cannot take advantage of that opportunity anymore kay limited ra man imong menu because of your um supplier no strict ka imong supplier comes to your contract so, yung ano na siya, how will you limit these weaknesses? How will you get rid of them so that you can take advantage of opportunities? So, muna siya. Na maghihuna na, hindi ka, kung ano ba, huna ka strategy, ay, okay, so, akong weakness kay, slow man ang amu, ang operations dito sa restaurant kay, yaya ka, ayaw no, imbis tag 10 to 15 minutes, ang ihatag ang pagkaon, maabot og 30 minutes. So, how will I get rid of this weakness to take advantage of the opportunity nga mo, makabalig ya ko og daghan nga pagkaon and malipay ako mga customer knowing nga uh, I'm located in a place where in daghan kag mga tawo okay so mo na siya you know? ang strengths and threats to put sa class kay paana man eh so pa internal to external jud na siya no internal to external internal to external then internal to external na pod Internal to external. Ano na siya, no? Paris-paris. So, next, no, no? Man naman sa opportunities, ari na po sa threat. So, internal to external, no? How will I make use of my strengths to get rid of threats? No? For example, unsa may mga strengths yung mong companies nga yung ikapang hambog nga wala sa uban. You make use of that in order to get rid of threats such as your competitor. So, you are known to have delicious food. Oh, so, mo advertise ka, o, kuan, no? Mag, mag, kuan ba ka? Mag advertise ba ka ron? Or, for example, um, maghatag kag mga free taste, 
no, in order for the customers around you to taste your food, knowing uh, that's your greatest strength, and you have delicious food. So that strength alone can get rid of your threats, which is your or which are your competitors. No, so Mona ST. Okay. And then ang weaknesses, no, internal to threats. Again, same as po, no? Knowing that you have strong competitors, mapaspas kay lahang service dito, ay mong weakness kay hina kay muhang service, no? How will I um, get rid of my weaknesses in order to um, overcome threats? So, yan na siya, class, no? Muna, kinahalan siya ng anak ay SWOT analysis. Kaya, imulang taon, unsa man akong mga strength? Unsa ano ko paggamit sa kong strength in order to take advantage of these opportunities? Knowing nga, muna mga falling opportunities sa kong company. Unsa man akong mga weaknesses? And how will I lessen that in order to take advantage of opportunities? Unsa akong mga strengths? Unsa ano man ako nipagamit sa kong mga strengths para ma... ko ano ko, ano? Ma-overcome? Or ma na ko ang threats, no? Ma-address na ko ang threats. Ang weaknesses parehas po. How will I lessen or get rid of my weaknesses in order to overcome my threats, no? Kay parties, dili ka ma-threaten ba nga? O, tinuod po na nga koan, threat na ako ang competitor, but I already um, improved, no, the the speed of my service. So, muna, dili na ya ya mo ang paghatag sa pagkaon. So, um, that could be an example nga naging mo na kong strategy mga okay nag, um, we we made um, a systematic system systematic system a systematic process nga para dali na lang ang amu ang trabaho nga dili dugay no ang paghatag sa pagkaon so that we can have an increased speed and delivery so pagkahuman no wala na ko weaknesses then I can overcome my threats which are my competitors so, yung anak na siya sa TOES analysis class. Okay? So, for TOES strategies, again, SO, so internal to external. Here, you would use your strengths to exploit opportunities. Ang weaknesses and opportunity is indicates how you would find options that will overcome your weakness and then take advantage of opportunities so that you mitigate weaknesses to exploit opportunities. Mitigate as you get rid of it. No, you are aware that these are your weaknesses. How will I get rid of these weaknesses? Okay, the strength or threats. One would exploit strengths to overcome any potential threats, and then weaknesses or threat is the final option. Uh, looks least appealing after all. Who would relish using a weakness to overcome a threat? So, um, you're going to minimize your weaknesses in order to avoid possible threats. So there are simple rules on how to make a TOAS analysis class, no? Like many tools, models, concepts, and frameworks, TOAS is subjective, no? Although semi-objective, but no, because you rely on actual data from your company for you to really identify what are your strengths and weaknesses. But most of the time, it's subjective. Subjective in a way nga, mabito na challenge kanya siya manager class because it's really up on your perception and how you decide and what you see in the situation for you to make decisions, Jude, no? So, it's, it's subjective. It's based on your own judgment, Rajud. It's based on how you see things, how you perceive this, how you analyze a certain situation for you to come up with decisions. Hindi siya unlike sa research nga, usap pa ka mo make a decision once you already have actual data. Ang sa toes is based sa mong observation, sa mong nakita around you, based on your intuition, Okay. So, it's only as robust as the data which you include with the model. Use other models and frameworks that support your strategic choices, such as ANSOF, Matrix, Porters, Generic Strategies, and others. Later on, I will teach you how to do ANSOF Matrix. I think na ato din ANSOF. ANSOF GE o BCG. So, siguro right after the midterm exam, we will start first with BCG, then ANSOF, and then GE. No, kay parkabalo pa dyan mo on saon paghimog marketing strategies. And this is important class because with this different matrix mangod, it can really help you make strategies and better decisions for your company. Mobito na siya ang alas no, sa oba ng companies because they have this knowledge. And when you run a business, you really have this kind of background, Jude. Um, mobito na class no, ang kanaganing mag-manage o hospital, 
I have classmates who are who owns clinics. No, I have classmates who owns clinics. Ang uban ka onog restaurant. Pero mo no um koan man Teresa man ang ako ang uh, HR man ang ako ang bachelor's. Pero ngano ning skila mi og business administration sa masters. Kaya tungod someday when we manage our own business like a restaurant baron or for example a tour and travel company for that business to thrive you need to have a background of this no marketing financial management appeal na na siya when you reach in third year class you will have a lot of business subjects like operate uh, operations management uh, operations management quality service ikaw fourth year natin strategic management no sina uh, kani marketing pa lang no so more on business jud siya but mobito na siya class sa bigger universities ang BSTM and HRM is really under the management program no ang umbrella kay tungod we're more into entrepreneurial skills okay so again no um toes and swat is just a very basic way on how to make strategies and how to make decisions for your company but para kung ginanjo ka og kanang mas kwan ka jud no mas reliable jud nga nga strategy you can make use of money siyang gipang mention niya ansof um ge bcg um i'll try if makabot sa porter's generic strategies i haven't tried that yet no i'm familiar more i'm more familiar with ge ansof bcg no boston um consulting group nga matrix okay strategy will include internal development for growth merger acquisitions and joint ventures be as specific as possible and avoid gray area so when you identify internal factors external factors and how you will address them you have to be very specific no dili lang kay imong i generalize so mingitag very specific para sa tong gi identify na ko nga weakness no nga one of the weaknesses is slow ang ilahang operation so that's very specific no so always rely on your gut feeling no um this is if you have a your own business no if na kayo mong kagaling business when you try to make your own analysis of your business if it's going well or not you have to really rely on your gut feeling your intuition no kay for you to make decisions mang good again ikaw man ang mo analyze ana so mo na siya class no isod kaayo even ganig dili ka magunog business ma manager lang ka kinalan mo ka ani nga kuan nga background no na kay background sa marketing finance tanan no kay when you make decisions mang good for the hotel or for your department it doesn't just include what they will do day to day appeal po na siya class ang mga financial o mga marketing aspects no kay kanang ikabot yung third year sagol man ni eh, na atay operations management no it means how you will handle with your anatay uh, multicultural diversity in the workplace meaning how do we deal with our employees that has different personalities or lain lain nga culture no lain lain jud na siya class daghan kaayo og kanang kinahanglan yung makat unan no because when you become managers or business owners or when you work even in the tourism industry no because it's a business our industry is a business class when you work in the city tourism office or Oh no. Um kay dili ra man we're not limited to being an FA lang. No kay ilang na FA jud ay in the tourism. But mostly entrepreneurial skills are as of high importance ani. So kinahanglan jud ka ani mga strategies. Okay, so I'll show you an example of I'll show you an example of the uh, marketing process and data analyzing ni Koan, Burger King. So, nadiri iyang swat og toast matrix, no? Hata ko example. Since last time, no, I task you to make a SWOT analysis into the two different nga fast food chains, no? First year, I think was McDonald's. Second year is Jollibee. So, kaya siya Burger King. So, let's start first with their SWOT analysis. So, their strength is they are, they are the largest fast food chain in the city, for example. Um, it's an international restaurant. 
its products different than any other competitor because of course no medyo kuan man ang ilahang choices class although they they offer meals bia they have um kay nakasulay na ko kuan pod sa Burger King na sila ay chicken na pod sila ay rice meals no ang nakanay sa jud nila is ilaha jung burger lahi ra jud ilang burger sa what you usually eat sa Jollibee pero ayun oh it's a personal preference so it's an acquired taste it really depends kay nay uban nga ginahan sila og Zorks burger nay uban ginahan sila og Jollibee nay uban ginahan sila og ako personally I'm, I I would really much prefer sa burger ni McDo kay tungod of the pickles so that's an acquired taste of personal preference pero of course their product is different because they're clo- uh, mostly focused on their burgers and it's big no kana ganing medyo oh medyo expensive siya mga 200 kapin no? pero dako na kaayo except kung jur- uh, junior imong palito no kay mag ang junior na mag big champ uh, mag big champ sa kuan sa Jollibee ka dakon yeah ang ilha jung ko dako jug kaayo no kanagay mabusog na ka pero again no? it's a it's it depends on your preference pud kung dakuan ka or dili sa ilahang products so that's one of their strikes so para nila their product is different than any other competitor and low price food items low price in the sense nga para ni mo is expensive but it's sakto pero siya ang presyo kana ganing daghan na siya mabusog na ka with just that price um pwede gay dili ka mani udto kana arjun ang ilahang burger ang imong kaunon and they have different kinds of burgers no na i flame grilled um na i uban nga kuan for cheese ratanan no na uban nga lain-lain ang sulod no so mo na ilahang strengths ang weaknesses is poor operating performance so that could mean that very slow no um hinay ang pag produce or pag hatag ay pag bus out dayon sa foods no and then management neglected by uh, siag coast value of the firm declined and they have a contract with a soft drink company which means that would really limit them to um offering different varieties of drinks because they have a contract with a soft drink uh, exclusive contract with a soft drink company ga exclusive contract ang ilahara jud nga mga ilim nun ang maoy ibaligya ani nga company or ani nga fast food chain ang opportunities kay customers to special order or ang niche market as what we call it no mga tag niche market class kana gani mga different kinds of customers that are not common di ba ang common is koan um students working individual so mo na mga pinaka common nga type of customers ang niche market is you have like vegetarians, pescatarians, no, um, those who have a different kind of lifestyle. There are only few of them who are part of the niche market. Pero imagine if kay advantage sa class ang niche market actually because only few companies appreciate the niche market. Para magud nila they focus on the majority. Kung asa ang kadaghanan nga mga consumers dito mi mo na mong ibaligya nga mga products based sa gusto sa kadaghanan. So, ang niche market are often neglected, no? Wala kayo yung mga kananan, wala kayo yung mga mga businesses nga mo cater sa ilahang special or specific needs, no? Like vegetarians, health conscious individuals, no? You can't see a fast food chain that can offer that not unless if it's Subway, no? Or sa pamayla in dira nga kuan. Nay usa nga tong duol sa amo uh, ang dorm nga they specifically sa like brown rice o kanang mga healthy choices no and there are only few of that so if your company are able to tap the niche market then ikaw na ang go to place anang mga tawhana no imagine ikaw vegetarian ka or pescatarian ka wala ka ay kay makita ni nga mga kananan diri nga would really fit to your lifestyle pero kung nay usa ka kananan dira nga healthy options silang gino offer then of course no daghan ka ayo to nga with that kind of lifestyle mo flock ato nga kananan kay sila ra man ang offer ana that's an advantage no that's an opportunity tapping to the niche market kanang mga mga special uh, customers with special with special needs no kanang lahi ang ilahang lifestyle lahi ang ilahang mga gusto dili para sa kadaghanan okay next is quick service restaurant and then short time food prepared attractive new market 
opportunity could also be like location, no? Ako, joke na siya. Location, fewer competitors is an opportunity. Okay? Pero parang ako, ang uh, number one is niche market. If your competitor is not tapping into the niche market, ikaw dayo na siya. Okay? That would make you unique. That would make you special. Ko, ah, I would prefer, ano, I would prefer kaninga fast food kay sila ra jud ako nakita andiri nga naa sila special menu like vegetarian nga menu or halal oh feel po na sa niche market to ang halal kay especially if your place has a lot of muslims no or there is a muslim community in your place if your fast food restaurant is offering halal foods then that would be an advantage no you're tapping to the niche market to a market that is uncommon that's opportunity. Next are threats. Threats um, are strong competition. No? Change in customer habit. No? Especially, um, nag-pandemic na rin class, no? Lahi na ang mga needs the customer. Rather than dining in, they would prefer to have their food delivered. And some would really also prefer to have healthier options because nowadays people would value their health more because of the pandemic oh that's another threat and especially if most of your most of your menu are unhealthy no food no and you're only built for dine in no wala pa kay mga riders or koan nga will cater to um fast food Oh, no, sorry. To delivery service, no? Sumupod na siya. And then, next, share price fall or the economy is an example of threats. Para sana, oh, example siya pa na to ang pandemic, no? Because of the pandemic, many people have lost their jobs, no? And fewer, rapod, I think I mentioned this one when I, uh, katong sa speech na to sa webinar, itong Sabado, no? Nga, daghan kaayo ang na nirado na restaurants niya katong mo open they saw sporadic activity no sporadic activity meaning gamay ra ang mupalit kay daghan bi nawad ang trabaho so wala na sila disposable income wala sila extra money to eat out or to to buy food no from your from your restaurant mo um, po na siyang example ya ikaw pud nga ka struggle ka kay gamay ra man ang mukaon gamay ra man mo palit sa imo inyo ha so, mag-cut cost ka, either mo, mo lessen ka mga empleyado or i-cut ni mo yung menu. Meaning, ana, imbis 25 menu items na adira, mahimo na lang siya o lima, pulo. Kaya di na makaka-afford mag-maintain o mga ingredients. Oh, that could also be an example of threat, no? the economy. So, sabi na, if pagkao ng imong ginabalig, ya, no? few people would dine out because they feel it's not safe and there are only a few people that would really spend their money on eating out no because for them wala na sila kwarta no kay na wad ag trabaho baro na sa silang family members so sila na lang magluto silang pagkaon no tipid sila sumo pud na okay, quick service restaurant na abot jay mas paspas sa imuha nga kuan and and that could be a really big factor no uh even kita no, as a customer, makakompare man siya Person I had really a bad experience with this kind. I will just not name it, no? I had a really bad experience with this um, fast food chain that I really promised myself every time that I would crave for, for food from their place. Ato ko sa ilang other branch mo palit. No? Kay, makatagam na no, dugay. Gutom na lang kaayo ka, no? One hour na lang nila bay. Wala, Jude. And at the same time, usay kulang. No, mapuna siya. Oh, makat na ay times matagam should ka. So, mo, that could be an example of threat as well. Let's now proceed with those matrix. Okay. So, ilista da yun niya ang mga mga strengths na strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So, internal factors niya is ang strength niya, second largest fast food, owned own restaurant, international restaurant, Part different to other competitors and low price food items. Ang weaknesses, poor operating performance, managed neglected by Siagco's, value of the firm declined, contract with soft drink company. Ang opportunities, customers to special order, quick service restaurant, short time food prepared, attractive new market, threads, guys, strong competition, change in customer habit, share price fall, 
quick service restaurant. So, una ta sa SOWO, no? internal to external, hindi sa baba o sa. So, ang strength niya mo ni, then mo ni yung mga opportunities. You try to analyze how can you take advantage of your strengths in order to, uh, no, how can you maximize your strengths in order to take advantage of opportunities. So, low price mo ng food items, no, and then, um, you can produce many food pearls. Kaya himo na ko glain. Kaya marag di pa ko satisfied sa iyahang analysis tiri. If na ko low food, food, uh, low price food items, and then knowing that, um, na tayo mga special orders from our customers, no, I can, ko ano, I, muta kong gisulti niyo uh, ato class nga, pwede ta ka research o sa ang mga special preferences sa niche market, if some of those in the niche market would prefer healthy options or halal food, then since momonetong strength, we can offer low price food items that are healthier or halal. Oh, siya, no? So, low price food, yung strength, and then ang special order, ng opportunities. Okay. Oh, may yahang ko an eh. Yahang toast matrix. Ang kailay nakitaan, good. Ang isa is difficult to understand. Nita ko o something nga, medyo dali lang sa inyo, masabtan ba? Ang isa is ABC company. It's not a real company, but their toast is really difficult to to comprehend. No, Very detailed na kaayo to siya. So, kanila mga simpler. Okay, so for example, um, it's an international restaurant. Pwede man sila class, no? Kaya since quick service, mga pwede opportunities. Or for example, na yung mga special, na yung niche market, and then international restaurant man sila. They can open up, sa so yung SO, they can open up um different branches no around the world per at least to spread the presence of the fast food restaurant kay kung person sa Jollibee good what Jollibee is doing now is they're spreading the presence of Jollibee all over the world making our food from international level na so that could be your so okay and then products different than other competitors oh pwede man ka mo offer a low price food items you produce siguro more food no Produce lang siya guru ka o pagkaon na unique pa siya. Pwede po ka i-add ni mo diri class, not just healthier options and ma-expand pa siya ka sa other nga lugar. Pwede sa SO, pwede ni mo, mabotang ka diya kaya you have product different from other competitors. Mo-offer na po siya kag new menu. Like naakay special menu every, parang sa ginabot sa McDonald's, ba na sila yung mga special edition or sa Jollibee no nga, kung mag limited time lang. So, for at least, but it's not something unique or you look forward to your customers. You can usually use a new product like Jollibee. You can also try it again. 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 Or you try to bring back older nostalgic food. It depends on what you want to use to your customers. So, you offer new food items, not just healthy ones, but new food. So, you can also try it again. Among ginakuan sa Palm Grass Hotel sa una class, no nga. For example, Independence Day, na sila i-offering a new drink nga named after um, uh, national hero baron and then na ay Paris nga pagkaon, no? Or na ay mga discounts. So, yun na, no? Himo kang mga, like, mga pakulo in order to um, take advantage of the opportunity such as your customers. Pwede guys, opportunities ang, ang kuan location. Nya, kung ang strength mo ay sindot ka nga restaurant, no, kay delicious yung food, o nya, yung location is within the city, o yung, yung SO dira nga, nga strategy class, pwede pod ka ng magbutang ka og mga tarpaulins ba yun, advertisements, so that, you know, people would really know where your restaurant is located, or for example, ka na, can gain, kung anong ka ng, the attention of your customers, pwede po na siya. Hmm. Offer po do kan, pwede po offer o if pwede drive through, depende po sa mga location lagi, no? drive through or food delivery. Okay, weaknesses, so money poor operating performance, so very slow, no? May now I contract with the uh, soft drink company that would limit you to offer different um, drinks, no? Sa mong menu. So, weaknesses to opportunities, so, if they produce soft drink, they can reduce contract with SD. Um, that would be 
a very risky one no because you uh, uh seldom ka makakita self sufficient nga soft drink company class mga self oh, soft drink company nga fast food chain mga self sufficient sila ang gahimo silang soft drink sila ang gahimo sa ilahang uh, just like Jolly Bean no na sila murag farm nga dira dito sila mukha ng manok wala sila nagko from an external supplier self sufficient sila sila ay gahimo ana no sila ga, ga produce silang kaw galingon nga na chicken Okay, so, pwede po siya, WO, um, the, the Burger King can be self-sufficient. Okay, of course, so they're, uh, they're the second largest fast food restaurant. They have the meats, man. So, pwede po na, no? So, para wala sila contract sa soft drink company, and they are free to offer any uh, kind of drinks that they want sa ilahang fast food chain, pwede silang himog self-sufficient. Meaning, they produce their own drinks. And in, th- in that case, that's, an op- that's uh, a good thing. Kay. If they can produce their own drinks, pwede po sila produce og he- og healthy options. Kay. Remember, no, na ayos special needs ang ilang obang customers, like the niche market. Pwede sila ka-offer og-, og healthier drinks that would really fit sa menu po. No? And then pwede po sa katong mong gihimo sa crown, oh, sa crown, sa palm grass nga, kada bulan na may drink of the month. So at least, well, na, I look forward ang, so, I know, ang, mga customers. Okay, knowing that um, hinay man ang ilang operating performance, so dapat food should be prepared short time to reduce no um, the delay. So how will you do that? How will you make uh, preparing of food shorter na ang ilang time? Um, mag-develop mo og systematic na process. no para And then, parts ng ginahimo class, eh, I don't know, I'm sorry. Sa third year, the ini siya. 5S of Kaizen. No? Ang 5S of Kaizen is a business philosophy sa mga Japanese in order to increase efficiency and effect, uh, effectiveness. No? And how will they do that? They usually arrange the items in their workspace. Nga dali ra siya malocate. And dapat po nga, dool ra po siya para dili na katagbo o tuyok pa mo kuha nga nga gamit and then mo akto na po ka. No? So, for example, ang mga fryers, no na, na sila specific station nga nara na dira ilahang mga kinahanglan para sa pagluto class niya ko ikaw tig steam ka no ikaw ang assigned to steam dem sumba na ron or or mag sa rice no na kay specific station nga kompleto na tanay mong gamit dira pwede na ka masig dagandagan ag tupa ka sa pikas nga lamisa ko ano mo mga gamit balik na pugka dire no so that could really that is ko ano kana a waste of time na ay tawag ana sa na itawag ana sa quality service na limot ko class no? bagar na ko ng klase sa third year ato um the, the the lesser that you spend time on finding things para sa imong trabaho the more maka spend ka og time in actually preparing the food kung mag na klas ang makadugay ano matingala ka nga dagko man nilang lutoanan ma'am pero dugay kay maluto ang pagkaon first is depende sa ingredients Kaya ang ingredients sabi ni mo is lisod i-prepare, dugay kaya siya i-prepare, no? Or, lapta ilang workspace nga, agto pa siya dito, mukuha pa siya aning gamit niya, then luto pa siya, no? And then, gihulam pa sa usa ang iyahang kuchilyo, di pa siya ka-prepare da yun, no? That could be really counterproductive, no? So, you can prepare food in a shorter time by developing a systematic process, no? You apply 5S of Kaizen Barun, no? para na ay sistema or for example make sure you you arrange the kitchen nga there are different stations and then ease of access ra okay and then uh, you develop miss and plus so sa HRM we call this miss and plus Muna spelling class, no? M-I-S, ay. M-I-S-E-N. It's a French word, no? And then, usually it means that you prepare the ingredients beforehand, no? Miss and plus. Ginatawag na muna siya, class. Actually, katong, when I had my OJT in Crown Agency, no? Nag-narotate mo na, you know, housekeeping, na yun, nag-serve pod ko, na yun, napog ko sa kitchen, tabang ko, o, ko ano, um, 
pag una so, so go on pa mi una sa mga mga sous chefs no sa executive chef on sa buhaton and then no, let's go specific station they really applied five years of kaisen mo na very systematic class they can cook meals no main courses in just a few minutes they do that because they they also apply mise en place no na sa specific station na ay station for appetizers siya ang mahimong appetizers na ay station to make the main courses na ay station ya yeah, tupad sa main courses ang station for mise en place ang katong na assign sa mise en place class ng mga cooks the entire day from 9 to 11 pm ang ilang yung buhaton class is magprepare sila ng ingredients for this specific dish for example there are five tickets maabot sa sa kitchen lima ka buok nakalista na nadira on sa mga pagkaon kabalo na sila nga okay mo ni siya ang um, egg drop soup abi ang first dish kabalo ko nga mo ni siya ang pagkaon ang katun asain sa mesa plus nga cook magandam din na siya og mga ricados for that dish So that si executive chef igo na lang siya muyabo ato tanang mga gipang prepare nga ingredients ni cook sa Miss and Plus. So mga Miss and Plus na yun na siya. Um uh, they usually time in an hour early than the rest of the cooks class kay magprepare man sila ingredients daan, magshop na sila and there are different slices pud. Mo na medyo kuti kay HRM nat class so um I remember no When I was in first year, we have different slices jud sa una. So, muna siya, prepare siya daan, anak, kay para inikaluto na ni Kuan, inikaluto na ni executive chef, iko na lang siya, di na siya maghiwa pa siya dito, dahil mag Kuan pa siya. So, daghan kaayo mo yun. Apoy specific person for for steaming. no Kaya dim sum, it's a Chinese restaurant man. Usually dim sum ang ilang gina, gina offer or gina serve. So, muna, class. So, that can lessen um the time preparing the food no by applying miss and plus as there's a systematic process so, pwede mo siya apply there sa wo ni mo okay sa st ang st is strength no any strength and th- uh, th- threads strength and threats iguna ko powerpoint class corporal ko slide here strength and threats So, in most strength is mo niya, di ba? Kabalo naman kang you have low food items, your product is different from other competitors. In most threats is strong competition. Okay? Price fall and then change in customer habit. Okay? Reducing competitor by increasing brand image. So, dili, dili specific iya hang strategy. How will we do this? No, how will we reduce the competitor? Okay, pwede man uh, offer so, you know, you have low price food items. Offer high quality but low food pri- uh, low price food items that will um, increase the brand image and overcome the strong competition. Kaya you have quality food, no? Lami man yung pangkaon, barato pa d'yon. Then of course, ang mga tao nga gatipid, no? Diridid sila sa kaninga pikas nga, nga fast food chain. And then ang competitor, wala na, no? Wala na sila customer kanya. Ang to na sa imuha. Because... That would really increase your brand image. Next, increasing share price to get higher revenue. Okay, so, pwede man po to, um, one stone nga ko ano, uh, two birds with one stone kind of scenario ang low price food items class kay. For example, uh, the economy, you no, know, the fall in the economy is an example of a threat. If you have low price food items pero of high quality ng not only that it will beat your competition because you have an increased brand image, it can also encourage your customers to buy from your restaurant kaya ito mong affordable yung mga pagkaon. So, mara siya hitting, mara siya, hitting two birds with one stone. Okay? You you can hit two two threats with just one strength, which is low price food items. Okay, next weaknesses, two threats. Okay, increasing operating performance, they reduce competition. That is true, no? So, so many company last. So many spelling. Eh? Increasing operating performances, they reduce competition. Okay, so since you are able to deliver food, no, in a short amount of time, a pil po na siya sa advantage, no? So that could really reduce your your competition. Kaya mo mangi gi mitigate, mo mangi you get you got rid of kanisha nga weakness which is slow ang imuhang operations sa restaurant okay and then pwede pud siya no um 
Imuhang WTS, be self-sufficient. Be self-sufficient and make your own drinks baron so that you will no longer have a contract with a soft drink company. And in turn, you're able to have the freedom to offer different varieties of drinks. That will be an edge against your competition because it means nga you can offer oh, no, different kinds of items, no food items or drinks nga that can really encourage your customers. So, yan na lang. No? So, pwede rin na siya. So, di rin siya ka magbase. No? So, ako pagtangtang sa kong weakness para maka-overcome ko sa kong threats. Siya na ra ang sa Toast Matrix class. Ito tong i-open ang sa... PCG naman eh. Parang unsoft class. Ah, in progress. Sayop niya ako na hatang. Ngita ako o ko ano. Imot naman ko asa to. Okay, so anira po ni oh. So if you're going to practice na may sample dito sa Google Classroom, di man nag-upload naman ko ani. Kaya ang BCG rin na, ah, wala ang GE o Gansof. So, nag-upload naman ko ani class. So, you can just try to look na, no, mamani ang mga strengths and weaknesses sa uh, make-believe restaurant na ako na, no, which is Pecolar, Pecolar Restaurant, then opportunities and threats. So, yung SO strategy, it's offensive, no? Offensive siya because you make most of these. So, you make most of your strengths to overcome opportunities. So, akong strategy diri is increase menu options and provide healthy alternatives. And ang weaknesses, kay focus on quality and product and product innovation and menu diversification. So, you offer a new food, no? a diversified menu with different options, and then high quality products. So, ang ST na ko, so I got from my strengths to my threats, no? Provide better service and dining. Management shall give proper benefits to employees to avoid to avoid job satisfaction. Or job satisfaction. Actually, more naman niya siya. Um, Gibase rin ako siya sa unsa kong mga strengths and weaknesses. Dayan ako siya ang pair up with my threats and uh, threats and opportunities. So, I have this kind of sample sa Google Classroom. You just try to look at this sample. Okay, para maka-compare compare pod mo and then makabalo mo sa on pag imo og strategy based from strengths and opportunities, then weaknesses and opportunities, strengths and threats, then weaknesses and threats. So, kana man siya so far. Okay, this will be part of your exam. So, ang identification, usually, ko naman, from consumer buying behavior, the yun, SWOT and TOS. More naman na siya ang, ato, ang coverage for the exam. So, identification na, the yun, paimunta mo o SWOT analysis. Pagkas anino? More ang ilista. Ang anira po ng style sa TOS class. So, Ang anira ang style sa pag-answer ninyo sa inyong SWOT analysis sa exam. I-list our new strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And then, ang sa Toast Matrix class, ang anira po siya, list siya, pero naka-ing ani. So, naka-ing ana. No, S O W O S C W T. If maglibog maglibog mo ang ani nga kind of style class, pwede man nga mag sulat sa modaan sa papel o sa mo mag-answer, sulat mo daan sa papel o nya ing ani lang nga style. No kaning 8 quadrants na to, no? Nga mag-box ka sa strength weakness sa opportunities og threats kay para makalista ka sa S O W O S T W T. Pwede man ing ani, no? Um 
if you would prefer na po koy option dira nga we're in. Kung nang duha ang guruk option class, no, you can answer using this one. Ilista ra ninyo ang yung toast matrix or maghimo mag toast matrix class ni Upload na lang ninyo ang document. So at least ba kung asa ang mas convenient ninyo. Tagaan ito magdua ka option sa so, on pag answer sa toast matrix. No? Kay, if you're not comfortable sa listed, kay maglibog mo. Libog mo aning list nga style. Ang na anad mo ani, mas makasabot mo kung inyong i-quadrant. Pwede ra, no? Picture na ninyo dapat klaro. Ini-upload na lang ninyo. So, pili na mo sa duha. You can just skip ang katong listed and then maghimo na lang kaging anisap on a piece of paper, picture and upload ang document. So, you are given two hours. No, very short naman ang sa marketing nga ko. Check to kung himo. Kung i-double check to sa ko. Oh. Ten rang identification, then SWOT o toast matrix na dayon. So, you're given two hours to answer that on Thursday. That will start from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. So, after that, close na dayon ang form. Um, dili na ko muhatag og extension sa katong malita. Labing... Lang, no? Dili na siya excuse kay yung exam. Kabalo naman ka nga. Ang exam magsugod o gma. So, follow ka sa schedule. Ugma, Wednesday, ang schedule is transportation management, 7 a.m. to 9. 7 to 9. Dayon ang sa marketing is 10 to 12 Thursday. Okay? So, ay mo o kalimot. Ya, kung di mo kasulod dayon, i-message dayon ko para ma-address diha-diha dayon. Ha? So, mora na siya. Any questions before we will end our our class? None, ma'am. Okay. So again, no. Please settle your accounts within this day. And if you see Sister Sally at school, just kindly greet her happy birthday, no, because today is her birthday. And for those who would like to join us this afternoon for um our mass, no, we have. A mass this afternoon, 5.30 sa cathedral. Ang first year o second year. Kuala lang inyo ang sulobo, no? Kuala lang any decent lang attire. No? Kuala lang pang misa. Kaya wala pa man mo yung school uniform. No? Only the third year and fourth year na regular students ang mag-uniform. If you already have your ID, just kindly um, wear your school ID for identification. So that I can identify you later this afternoon. Okay. Ang wala pa yung ID mark, pwede mo kakuha ka rin kayong uba. Nagkuha naman sa school. Just find Sir Baran. Dili siya busy. Dayon, what else? Sa paman. Just settle your accounts raha within today. Kung ugma, pwede ra po. No? As long as once you have your examination permit, picture lang niya. Send sa GC para kabalo ang mga teachers po nga naa sa GC kung kinsa na ang katong na, na ay exam permit. Okay, maura na siya. Other questions? Wala na? Okay, so Wala na, ma'am. Okay, so before we will end, may may question, so before we will end, let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, Amen. Saint Rita, Pray for us in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so good luck.